Hi everyone, I'm back with another tablet review. This is the Huon Inspiroy. Inspiroy? I'm not exactly sure how to say that, <laughs> but it's the Inspiroy RTE 100. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And there we go. And of course, Huon contacted me and sent me this tablet for free in exchange for a review. This is not a sponsored video and I am not getting paid any money. And this is the actual tablet, quite small and compact. And it comes with the pen, which is pretty slim, has a nice velvet feel to it. And then down here where you grip the pen, it's rubberized. And of course it has buttons on the side right here. And then we got our other accessories, extra pen nibs and this ring. So then we have our quick start guide right here. It has all our information for getting started, warranty card, diagram with how to connect to your computer, a diagram with how to connect to your Android, how to install the driver, letting you know that they have a Huon Sketch app for the phone on Google Play. That's pretty interesting. I should check that out. And then a diagram on how to replace the nib. And that's it on the quick start guide. And then we've got our adapter for your Android device and the power cord where you connect your micro USB to your tablet into the USB port of your computer. And that's it. Pretty much straightforward and to the point. So right off the bat, I can definitely say that this is an entry level sort of tablet. It's very affordable in comparison to a lot of other tablets out there on the market. Huon lists its pricing on their website at $31.49, that is USD. But of course, with a tablet this affordable, I am very curious on how well it will perform. Oh, one thing I noticed is there is no glove, which is pretty interesting. It was just something I wanted to point out if that is something you in particular are interested or maybe not interested. I've said in the past before, I hate those things. It is just not for me. But if you love it, it unfortunately does not come with this product. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw something up. So setup for this tablet was kind of simple and fast. I do feel the UI for setting it up was much more user-friendly compared to other tablet drivers that I've used, which is great when it comes to these more affordable tablets because this is likely to be a user's first digital tablet. So having an easy user-friendly installation program is pretty important, I feel like. Right here, I'm drawing a portrait of an elf girl and I really just, I don't know, wanted to draw something a bit more relaxing and just something that really made me happy. Also, for those interested, I'm using Paint Tool Sci here as my program to draw in. Is this a necessary program to use? I don't think so. It just happens to be the one I own and I've like owned it for the past, gosh, like decade because I've always found other programs like Photoshop and Corel Painter to just be too expensive. And I don't even know if the Corel Paint program is a thing anymore. Does that still exist? But anyway, so I felt at the time Paint Tool Sci was a great alternative to those programs, but there are other programs out there. Clip Studio Art, Metabang, just to name a few off the top of my head. But yeah, back to the tablet. I did have a few issues with size. I believe this is truly the smallest tablet I have ever created art on, and it did take some getting used to. Also, I mentioned this in other tablet review videos before, but when it comes to the sizing of tablets, if you're curious on what would work best for you, it usually depends on your strokes. If you have short strokes when you draw, smaller tablets like this are great. If your strokes are longer, medium to large may be a better fit. For me, I find medium tablets to be a perfect fit, but I've been working on like tablets of tons of different sizes for quite a while now. So really size doesn't bother me too much and I feel like I can familiarize myself pretty quickly. With this tablet, we have four hotkeys on top, which is nice to have. You can set up the hotkeys to whatever preferences you'd like. For me, I enjoy putting a zoom in and undo feature. Those are the commands I really use the most. So they're pretty necessary to me. The pen, as I mentioned earlier, has buttons on the side, which do replace the buttons on a mouse for your right click and left click. And yeah, this tablet covers everything that's basically necessary for entry level digital artists. And honestly, to this day, I still marvel at the fact that you can purchase the basics like this for 30-ish dollars and get the results I'm achieving here. I say that only because back in 2006, this was like unheard of. And I remember like many artists often cautioning from more affordable brands at the time because the technology just really wasn't there to make a 30-ish dollar tablet and get these sort of results. 
Oh, one thing I do want to mention, I had no glitches with this tablet, which I feel is important to say because sometimes with smaller and more affordable tablets like this, I do end up having maybe a glitch or two that either I have to fix or sometimes it just self-resolves. Just depends. But with Huon's, I didn't. And that was kind of nice. So basically my biggest issue that I had with the tablet was just it being smaller than my hand could like handle. Like I said, I did get used to the size, but I did find my drawing hand sometimes clicking the lower right hotkey. So I would just unintentionally zoom in a bit, which for a second would throw me off from my drawing groove. So that was a little disappointing, but I feel like this was the only true con to this tablet because it happened about maybe three to four times throughout the, I don't know, I want to say three hours of work time that I put into this portrait. And it was just a slight inconvenience. And I do feel the more aware I became of it, the more I was able to just avoid hitting that hotkey altogether. So I'm sure that issue would have lessened over time as I got used to working around the tablet. But like, these are sometimes the trade-offs that come with having access to being able to purchase a 30-ish dollar tablet. I'm not completely sure on longevity of this one specifically, but Huon does have a warranty for one year. So at the very least for $31.49, you are covered for a whole year if anything were to happen to this tablet. And it also is available in two colors. So as you saw earlier, I got the black one. They also have it in ivory white, which is also an option if you're interested in that. And even though the artist glove does not come with it, you can purchase it for like an extra $4.99 on their store, which is just store.hueon.com, if that's something you really wanted. And so my final thoughts. Aside from the issue of hitting that hotkey button, there weren't any other issues that I had with this tablet. I really enjoyed using it and I feel it's a solid entry level tablet. The pen itself has over 8,000 levels of pressure, which is pretty much the standard now these days. And so I really just feel that this is a solid entry level tablet. Certainly the tablet you'd want if you're like super unsure of whether digital art is something you want to explore, but also just don't want to risk putting in some serious cash just yet. If you're more experienced, I do feel Huion has an incredible range of other tablets available that would better meet your expectations, especially because they have ones slightly more than 30 that do offer a bit more. And honestly, even their pen display tablets look great and are far more affordable than some other brands that I've seen on the market. At the same time, I haven't checked them out, but hopefully I may one day soon. So if you enjoyed this review, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks everyone. Bye.